we're kind of running through the BRZ still here. I had its first track day, did a shakedown, had some issues, got those fixed. Um, now we're just basically trying to clean this thing up and make it look good. It's filthy right now, so took off the emblem from Subaru. I did get kind of impatient with the sticky stuff and I was kind of spraying the goop remover on here. Don't use the goop remover. It, when it goes from uh, metal to plastic, it etched the paint. So I'm gonna have to have this repainted. I do have some holes here that need to get filled. I'm thinking about doing a gloss black through here and then maybe transitioning from a gloss black here to a flat black on the trunk and then maybe flat black roof and then the hood. I think it'll look really good, kind of kind of wrapping that look to the top. Gonna do a dark tint on the windows. Then I'll do like a big black oval with the number 77 and silver on the side for my racing number. We got the Titan seven wheels here, nine by 17. We had to take the eight mil spacers out. It filled the wheel well better with the spacers, but what was happening was when we were coming into the hard turns, hitting some of those bumps, I was getting some wheel rub. The front still has the spacers in it, so the front sits a little wider than the back, but it's handling really good. I got the big brake kit from Brembo on the front. The, the brakes feel a million times better than stock. We did the JDL exhaust, which now it's patinaed really nicely. We did the full titanium exhaust, and so it's burnt in, got the nice, nice color to it. So it's a single exit. We did that to save weight and just for a nicer sound. Would be nice to eventually fill this hole in here now since it's single exit. I might end up doing eventually like maybe a different bumper in the rear. In Florida, we don't need a license plate in the front, so either I'll just fill that all in or probably just replace this uh, when I do my arrow. I'm doing about a minute 23 seconds around the firm and I want to get down to about a minute 20 and then once I hit that we're gonna it's gonna be time for an arrow and uh, the headers. As I get better and progress we make the car better. Right now I think the car is better than me so I, I gotta play catch up. We do have the Sparco uh, racing seats, so for safety, I got the Hans device for the helmet. So we got the, the harness here, the harness bar, stripped out the back seat to save weight. And that's the update on 2022 Subaru BRZ. Right here, we got the 21 uh, M3, of course. So this is uh, my daily driver and it, it's a track monster, but really the idea was to get a track designated car. So I'll still take this to the track once in a while, but this Subaru BRZ is really the track car. This is what back in my day we used to call rice burners. Here I got one, burn it up. This will be the first time I've driven it on, on just the regular street since we uh, modified it. We'll kind of go through the things that we did and the issues we had, so no big issues, but little things we had to work out. Hopefully you guys can avoid the issues that we had. We're going to get a bath. Stop by uh, a couple places, see what it'll cost to paint this versus wrap it. Gotta try to give this thing a look now. Yeah, she's aggressive on the street. I just can't wait to get back on the track, man. I gotta, I gotta shave two seconds off my lap time, which two seconds doesn't sound like much, but it's a, it's a huge difference on a track. I'm still faster in the BMW than I am in this. It's got two and a half times the power. So on the straightaways, I can hit 130 instead of, I think I hit like 105. I mean, you add 25 more miles an hour to that, you know, the seconds just melt off. The one thing is this car is lighter and I can go around the turns quicker. My instructor, Neil, he's actually two and a half seconds quicker than me around the track in this car. He can match my time in the BMW in this car. So it is possible. Uh, here we are, man. Taking her through the car wash do the full service here. I'm gonna let the guys uh, towel it off. Hopefully they can get the rims a little better. Everything gets filthy at the track. Oh, here we go. I was planning on washing that car by myself. They're doing a nice job over here for me. I can hang out in the AC, take a little break, let it get a little detailed up, and then uh, go burn the rubber off it. Get it dirty again. After this, I go, go off to wrap and paint and see what we're gonna do for the, the track car, number 77. Uh, it's the first time I've seen it clean since we put the coilovers on it, the nice wheels. Now we just gotta do a little customization, make it look really good. I like debadging it. Nobody really knows what this car is when you take the badges off it. The one guy just thought it was a Porsche, so that's pretty cool. Get a Porsche for 35 grand. Well, I got another 30 into it, so right there we got about 65 grand. 
for a track car built out the way it is. By the time we're done, we'll probably have another 15 into it, but it's gonna be one heck of a designated track car right there. Gotta get it a little clean, look at, oh man, is that something hit there? I think that's through the paint. Yeah, she's getting a little beat up. She's going to the body shop next. <laughs> they got the magic eraser. It's like magic. Thanks guys, a lot better, appreciate it. Get in a clean car, that's a nice feeling. <laughs> There's no insulation now in the back, so you hear every little ping and ding of every little stone that hits underneath. Here we are at Ceramic Pro, see what they can do. Kind of filling in these holes here. Got to tint the windows, see what we can do about the damage I caused with that goopy gone stuff. Like, it would be nice to have this look like one, one piece. I'm going to end up doing uh, aero later, so we did the MCS coilovers, the Titan wheels. We've shaved down already three seconds on the track time. It's a beautiful car, but I mean, it's just silver, so I want to try to give it a look now. Paint protection film, right. it's carbon fiber look. Right. So it protects it right. from the rock chips and right. from the great track. It's offset, Right. The shape of this door is perfect. They almost have like a big oval here. And I like your idea of like, the background color could be the black or carbon, and then they pick up the wheel color with a 77. Yeah. That would be sharp. Retro vibe. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that would be uh, cool. That, here. Yeah, that has a look, you know? Just trying to get some kind of look going. This here, coming down into this, I feel like it's kind of like it's coming after you. I just think it needs something maybe down low and then up high. That was sweet. I mean, I had some pretty good ideas, but uh, Will had some other stuff to add to it. So I think between the two of us, we came up with a really cool look. So. Now we just gotta implement it and see how it comes out. On top of my love and passion for cars and going fast, there's that business aspect. I travel a lot and I've had a lot of RVs. It's been a love-hate re relationship with RVs, so I've gone to a B-Van. We got the Mercedes over here. It's the American Patriot. I just purchased it. I've only driven it like 100 miles. It drives great. So far, I'm really excited about it. I was looking for a four-wheel drive, but I'm in Florida. I'm hardly going to use four-wheel drive. I got a great deal on this van. Uh, typically, they're closer to 200 grand. I got this for 130. I'd like to see if I could tow, not in an, an enclosed trailer, probably a lightweight aluminum trailer. It would be cool to be able to tow my BRZ to the track with this. Then when you want to take a break, you got the AC, your bathroom, kitchen, drinks, everything you need, just kind of rolling down the road. And because I'm running around the place so fast and my wife still got to get groceries and get the kids, she's got a pretty fast uh, X7. We got the M50i. It's been, been a great car. Pretty much she drives me around when, when I'm not driving myself around to, for work and play. Uh, she likes to drive that and I like to sleep in it because it's very comfortable. Come on, Lal. 